iMessage got a really big upgrade within iOS 18, and you might be a complete beginner within iMessage, so I want to give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this application. Now to jump right into it, our Messages application right here is basically how to use Message and iMessage. So to first off, we want to open up this application. So we'll see all of our messages that we have right here. So any person who's texting you, you can go and get a huge breakdown of exactly every single person who's messaging you. In the top left corner, you'll see an edit button. If you tap on it, you'll have your little name and photo option right here. You'll have your select messages if you want to multi-select messages. And you can pin messages by clicking on edit pins. Now, if you've recently deleted messages, those should show up there too, and you can recover them if you want to. In the top right corner, if you click here, this is how you can compose new messages. So any contact that you have, anybody who's texting you or messaging you, you'll be able to type in their name right here and find them come up. So if I don't even know who I'm having, if I can want to text this person, for example, I can tap into their name, I can go right here, and I can basically start texting them whatever I want to. We'll go on way down in the texting period in a second. If you swipe down from the top, you can also search for messages here too. If there's a specific thing you're searching for, you can tap right into there. And that is at the core of the Messages app at a high level. Now, you can click on your messages to start texting people. Now, within the top, you'll see the profile icon of that person. If you tap on them, you'll basically see the contact page here, and you can request their location, hide alerts, send receipts, and turn on contact key ver verification. Hopping out of here, if you want to quickly FaceTime them, you can click on the top right corner. At the bottom, this is where you can start texting them. So if I wanted to text them hi, I can go and start texting hi and send this blue message to basically send a message. I can also send a voice message and so many other things by clicking on the plus button right here. So if I click on the plus button, I can go and open up my camera to send a photo. I can open up my photos app. I can click on my stickers. I can click on audio if I want to go ahead and basically start recording an audio message and sending it to them. I can also click on send later and I can go ahead and actually schedule a message to send at a later date. This is a new feature within iOS 18, and that is a really cool thing that we have. Now, you can also click on the X button right here to delete that, but that is something that's really cool. And you can swipe down to see all the iMessage applications that we currently have. So that is actually something that's really cool, and check-in is a really cool you know, feature that allows you to basically check in as soon as you get somewhere automatically. Now, on top of that, you have the ability of basically reacting to messages too. So you can hold down on a message like this, and when you do that, you can go ahead and reply with a message just with like a, you know, a reaction. So if I really liked what they said, I can go and, you know, send that heart over that message, which is really funny. You can do this with any message. You can also hold down a message right here to directly reply to that message. If you sent a message and you went to edit, you can click on edit right here. You can also click on undo send if you want to undo send a message right there. That's also an option. You can also click on copy and translate. And you have a couple more options down here too. If you want to forward out an option or forward out a message, you have that type of capability there too. Now at the core, that's basically iMessage. There's not really anything else super hard with this app, but I want to go ahead and jump inside of our settings application now because there's a few settings within messages that we can actually change. So what we can do here is we can make our way over into our apps panel, which is right at the bottom here. So click on apps, and then there should be a little messages application option. So right here, Tap on Messages, and then you'll see this page. Now, this is where you can enable iMessage, so I'd recommend just keeping iMessage on. If you scroll down, you'll see a little option that says Send Us Text Message, but you might also see an option that should say something like RCS or Send Us RCS. I would recommend enabling RCS Messages. That is a new feature within iOS 18, and it allows you to have a much better texting communication process with Androids. So I'd recommend just going through enabling that, and that's another thing that you can try doing here too. So that is basically how you use messages and iMessage on iOS 18. It's a super, super basic process. And hopefully you had a good time watching this video. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.